Hi everyone, we will make a sign up and login application with Python using Firebase. You can check a member in the Firebase database. If correct password is entered, a message is displayed stating this. I will review the project with you in the video. You can subscribe to YouTube channel for more programming projects. We will make a sign up and login application with Python using Firebase. First, let's transfer the required library. We can transfer the library using the keywords pip install in the terminal section. I will run the code containing import. If the code does not contain errors, you have successfully transferred the library. Now let's set the Firebase settings. Because Firebase is supported by Google, it is preferred by many application developers. After signing up to the site, click the Get Started button. After clicking the Add Project button, set a name. We don't need the analysis option. Click the create project button. Installation will be completed in a short time. Click the continue button and complete the installation. You can develop your iOS and Android projects using Firebase. We will use the web feature in the Python project. Click the web button. Specify your application name and click the register button. Some codes were created specially for us. Thanks to the codes, we will be connected to our Firebase membership. We will use these codes in the Python file. I will create a variable and sync it with the codes. I am editing the code quickly. I had previously copied the database value to a text file. I will share the variable in the GitHub account. Enter the authentication section. In this section you can manage all authentication operations. There are many options. You can choose options such as Google, Microsoft, Twitter. In the example, I will use the email and password options. I replace the option with enable. You can add or check new members in the user section. You can control all members using the options. There is also a protection mechanism on the side to see the user passwords. In order to connect to the site, we need to use the initialize app and out functions. I am sending the variables to the initialize app function. We will use the login function and the sign up function. First, I will create the sign up function. I synchronize the login function with pass. Like I said, I'll call later. In the sign up function, I will ask the user for email and password variables. I am passing two variables to create the function. I am using the try and accept constructs. If the function does not work due to any error, I will issue a warning message in the accept section. Membership may not occur due to many reasons such as connection. However, it may get an error while creating a member probably because it is in the same member database. That's why I am sending a warning message. I will ask the user if it is a new member. I am calling one of two functions based on the user's answer. I will create a new user. I enter the username and password. When I refresh the website, I see that a new member has been added. 
I will create the same member again. A warning message pops up stating this when I create it. I will create a new member. The member has been added to the database. Now let's edit the login function. I want the password and email from the user. I will send the email and password value to the sign in function. If the input is incorrect, I print the text indicating it to the console screen. Let's try the login function. I will not register new user. I am trying a user that I have registered before. I am entering the wrong email and password. Warning message is printed on the screen. I am registering a new member. New member added when I reopen the page. I am logging it with a new member. If an incorrect password is entered, a message is displayed stating this. You can check a member in the Firebase database. I am deleting the member. I am trying to log in with the username and password of the deleted member. The error message is published. We made a sign up and login application with Python using Firebase. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. You can subscribe to YouTube channel for more programming projects.